The New York Times calls him one of the leading experts in face-to-face -face communication in the world. The Economist magazine calls him truly inspirational. HBO calls him the kickstart expert. And Good Morning America says his book is my Bible. Nicholas Boothman is an entertaining speaker who has shared the podium with top names like Jack Welch, Cheryl Richardson, and Dr. Phil. 55% of face-to-face -face communication comes from what you see. 38% comes from the tongue and voice. Tongue and voice. 7% comes from the words you use. His books, How to Make People Like You in 90 Seconds or Less, and How to Connect in Business in 90 Seconds or Less, have been translated in more than 20 languages. He's taught his revolutionary technique of rapport by design in Fortune 500 corporations, as well as colleges and universities around the world. It is your attitude more than anything else at the beginning of an encounter that determines the results of that encounter when you succeed or fail. What you are about to see are highlights from a recent speech given by Nicholas Boothman to 7,000 business people as he inspires them to maximize the most important 90 seconds of any encounter, be it business or personal, and set the mood for lasting profitable relationships. How long do you think it takes to decide whether or not you like someone when you meet them for the first time? I'm going, to, I'm going to say some numbers. I just want you to clap if we get near or rattle your jewelry or stamp your feet. Do you think it takes more than 90 seconds? More than 60 seconds? Less than 60 seconds? Less than 30 seconds? Less than 10 seconds? It takes two seconds. The Harvard School of Health Sciences did the best research on the subject. The title of their study was Students seeing a two-second video clip of a teacher with no sound came to the same conclusion about that teacher whose students had spent an entire semester with them. <laughs> really, they gave them 40 questions and there were kind of multiple choices. This person open or closed, jealous, not jealous. They took uh, one look at a two-second video clip with no sound. And then the students who'd been an entire semester, and guess what? The answers were virtually the same. We look at people, we make snap judgments about them. But that's not the million dollar secret. We decide whether or not we like someone in the first two seconds of seeing them. It's part of our hard wiring. But big deal. So what? Well, here's so what. When you like someone, you see the best in them. And if you don't like them, you tend to see the worst in them. And you make that decision really quickly. If I like the guy, he's enthusiastic. If I don't like him, he's overbearing. <laughs> if I like the woman, she's kind. If I don't like her, she's weak. When we meet people for the first time, we respond to what we see. And I'm going to prove it to you. I'm going to prove to you that what we see is more important than anything else. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to all stand up, please. Can we bring the house lights up a little bit so we can see each other? Now, and you should be able to see me on these monitors. I want you to do just what I say. I want you to put your arms out sideways. Yeah. Don't grope anybody unless they ask you to. <laughs> With the finger and thumb of your right hand, make a circle. Bend your right arm in the middle. Turn the circle towards your face and place it against your chin. Your chin! <laughs> Please sit down, thank you. There are actu actually only six things that any of us do on a day-to-day -day basis apart from body functions. Underneath everything else, there are only six things we do. And you're doing them all right now. Five of them are, you use your senses. We go out into the world every day and we use our senses. We see, we hear, we use physical sensation, we smell and we taste. There's only one other thing that we do, right down underneath everything else, and it's this. We process language. We go into the world, and we have experiences through our senses, and we put those experiences into words. And then we explain them to ourselves, and explain them to other people. In essence, that's all business is about. All business, no matter what you do, whether you're selling Girl Guide cookies or financial products, is about taking good ideas to market. It is your attitude more than anything else at the beginning of an encounter that determines the results of that encounter, whether you succeed or fail. We pick up on attitude. When you greeted each other now, you're responding to the body language that comes with attitude. 
55% of face-to-face communication comes from what you see. 38% comes from...